Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be giving you uh, guys a quick sneak peek and a review about Ed Ubuntu uh, version 14.04 LTS. Now, Ed Ubuntu is an official, repo official uh, distribution or a branch of an Ubuntu distribution which is actually designed for um, education educators. So that's why you get the name Ed Ubuntu or Educational Ubuntu. Now if you're some if you're like an educator or some teacher who like to have smart classes and you want to use some simple operating system or you want to have a lot of smart classes and uh, where students can have to interact with interact uh, with a computer to assignments projects or something like that and if, if that kind of that is the kind of a situation you are you are in or, or you want to conduct a school or some sh small schools wherein you need some computer facility okay and then um, and you're and you're short of budget or something like that. Well, Ed Ubuntu is a good alternative for that. Ed Ubuntu is such that it's a uh, such that this operating system derived from Ubuntu. You have a lot of software which are by default installed in it that helps uh, educators get the best use of it. Um, we look at the software and we look at the software in a moment. As of now, the Ed Ubuntu the version available version of Ed Ubuntu is fourteen point zero four. Um, because of some issues with the developers in Ed Ubuntu, as of now, uh, they, they don't have a version for 16.04 uh, 16 LTS version of it available yet. Uh, nevertheless, they said that uh, you know in the future, for the next upcoming LTS, they will have a, a version of it coming up. Nevertheless, as of now, uh, you have an option to upgrade um, Ed Ubuntu 14.04 to 16.04 LTS. Well, I tried this to update uh, update it twice. I just got into some error. Hopefully, you'll be able to you know if you're trying this out, you can try, you can install this. Now, installing Ed Ubuntu is fairly simple and straightforward. Not much of a complications. The only thing the only thing that you have you have to keep in mind is that while installing, you have two options, and which I like to show you now. So this is the screenshot uh, that I took while installing Ed Ubuntu in my virtual box. I thought of putting you putting you out. Well, if we know how to install Ubuntu, the installation is Red Ubuntu is almost the same except this part and there's another one. During the options you have, during the installation procedure, you have the option to select between a GNOME fallback interface. So by default, that Ubuntu comes with the Unity desktop interface. Okay. On the other hand, if you don't want it and you want a different interface, let's say, um, let's say GNOME, you just have to install this. Once you select that, you have the option to choose. I mean, you have the option to choose between uh, shift between GNOME. Uh, I think it. I think you have you'll have GNOME instead of. Um, uh, but it'll be the GNOME as the default one. And the other thing is that you have this LTSP LTSP project or the Linux terminal server project. Now, what this enables is as follows: If you install your operating system with this feature switched on. Then your system will become a server, a Linux terminal server, okay, from which all other computers can um, boot up, boot fr uh, from the network. So if they, if you boot, if you want a system to be boot up, they'll use a copy, they'll use your system to boot up, and they interact, they can interact like that. So if you want to make a server, let's say server or a server like computer, then this is, then this will be helpful, okay. And the next option you have is uh, the software selection. Now. Unlike other Ubuntu distributions, the Ubuntu di this Ubuntu distribution is fairly big. That's because um, you have a lot of soft software packed into the ISO, and uh, depending on uh, which kind of uh, target audience you're looking at, maybe if pri is this a preschool children or primary school children or uh, secondary school children or tertiary school children or college students, whatever it be regarding the case, you have this you have the option to select and customize the software. For instance, Ed Ubuntu, uh, Ed Ubuntu Desktop has a lot of some pre predestined soft, uh, predefined software that have been available, and uh, based on the target audience, they have a lot of software put to put over here that you can you know go and that you can go and select uh, select accordingly, um, and you also have the option to you know, draw, uh, expand these drop down menus and pay, pay, uh, tailor pick the software that you the, that you might require or you don't require. Okay. With that being said, these are the, the with that being said, let's have a look into the distribution itself. Now I'm using the uh, Unity version. So if you are used to the Unity version, uh, Unity version desktop, uh, this will not be that complicated, and this distribution will not be that complicated because it resembles Ubuntu very much, except for a few cases here and there. 
they have a small change in logo uh, the ca um, let's see the windows key or the meta key or the super key whichever you call it uh, start la uh, starts up with this launcher and you have just like any unit desktop option you have the option to pick your software you just type in the software name and the particular software comes up now as far as this distro is concerned the kind of software that are available is fairly important so let's have a look i have the open to software center opened up over here since this is a uh, uh, 2000 uh, this is a uh, 14.0.4 it uses the older version of Ubuntu Software Center not bad and that's one way good because it gives me a good list of all the software that have been installed by default so to start with in this to start in the accessory software you have a basic uh, dictionary I mean open uh, dictionary of software that is available Allah, other than the natural ones you have this, uh, this one available and you have an option to work with PDF documents with this PDF mod. Okay, this would be very much useful for useful for um, let's say educa educators if they want to work with PDF files. Yeah, even a simple KE cooking book. Interesting. Uh, K recipes. Let's have a look at that. Uh, when the okay. So if I click next, next, and all. I'll be able to have some information to write K recipes, um, uh, cooking recipes. Not bad. Nice, nice. Maybe if you're like, uh, you know, if you want to teach this to some cooking students or some cooking cookery to uh, children, that this could be useful. That's a good. That's an interesting start. Anyway, let's uh, moving on. And what else do you have? In the developer tools, you have a Bluefish editor web de for web development purposes. I guess you can use this for children, children uh, to start with uh, start with a little bit of uh, you know school children to start with a little bit of web development. And you have the Skate Turtle for environment uh, educational programming environment where you can teach children about small uh, bits of bits and pieces of programming. We have a Python uh, Python version 3.4 interpreter directly that uh, installed directly. Good choice for teaching programming and as far as education is concerned you have plenty of software okay since I in my installation I've installed everything all the pack I mean uh, for my uh, installation I've put selected all of them so I get all of these uh, pre uh, software available so that's the reason I get this now you have the now here you have the Celesta Celesta this software helps you to uh, visualize um, uh, visualize the visualize the universe so if you're like teaching some astronomy related classes this could be useful so this could be useful and you have canagram for teaching uh, I mean for, you know, for teaching word plays putting words and some word games and all uh, you have some uh, yeah, some yeah a lot of simple educa educational suit education suit games over here and uh, Blinken uh, can, can be used as a memory enhancement game for children to enhance memory and concentration to for let them focus and uh, you have it uh, you have a program to have I mean uh, clavaro if I, if I can spell that right it's used for t helping the children to type properly type type faster with some with some games and you also have some simple tools like kit uh, that you can use uh, for them to do some simple geometric con geometric construction I than not going little to a little forward for this can also be used for slightly I don't know older ch school children like for, for instance Leibniz graph plotter g g gives you an option uh, for the children to plot graphs plot graphs and see and of course there are a lot of softwares for children too for instance there are bigger people too like for, for instance marble this uh, this gives you a virtual globe like picture kind of similar to how global google maps looks like or google earth if you remember right uh, so that you can have a look at how the world is and look at places, countries, continents, rivers and all, rivers and all. And there are plenty of softwares for mem memory and memory enhancement, concentration, and of course you have the option for you have the option of tux paint, tux typing, and tux math to teach mathematics, uh, painting, and painting and drawing, and educational type, educational typing, all in start of in the form of miniature games, miniature games. And of course, you have some basic games available. There's a picture game like Potato Guy. Uh, and I uh, mean, using hands, this is actually a, pro a small programming game to learn programming game. Okay, and you have a molecule puzzle. I, I actually saw this. This is a little fun. 
like you have to build complex complex molecules by uh, moving around atoms uh, at atoms this is kind of uh, very interesting for you know chemistry stu chemistry students and also g brainy helps you to you know uh, in you have soft you have these tools available for you know for simple games and uh, yes of course as far as graphics is concerned there are like plenty you have a rebook ma library management software like calibre uh, you have e ebook content viewer you have a gimp editor image magic and that and a vector inkscape vector graphics editors so if, they, if students want to work with a lot of images or they want to make projects with images and all they can use this you have the color print program by default and you also have a libra cat a computer designing so this would be uh, suitable for um, how do i put it uh, slightly older 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 children for drawing for doing some complex complex drawings and of course you have the libra office draw i think you have the almost the full suite libra office and you have scribers as well so if they want to make some uh, reports they want to make some art magazines or uh, some kind of a uh, fancy reports they can use scribers scribers for that okay and uh, as far as inter as far as internet is concerned it's just the usual stuff just the usual stuff maybe a little um, and of course you have this one e e e test you can this is actually uh, can be this is can be used as a lab administrator tool uh, if you want to work with uh, like a lot of computers together in a lab and uh, other than that all the others are just the fairly the usual ones as far as, far as the office is concerned you have almost the entire libreoffice suite except for libreoffice base libreoffice base and you have other so other softwares too i haven't checked it clearly fully what it is as far as science and engineering is concerned you have this uh, graph theory graph theory tools for advanced students at uh, planetarium planetarium kind of similar to stellarium if i remember right and you have a periodic table software and a mathematical expression solver and plot of k algebra and chem tools for making calculations for making calculations and chemical structures and all so this so these would be for uh, slightly uh, advanced to advanced students or slightly older students as far well as soundtracks are concerned nothing nothing much interesting here I mean the usual ones and these are the you know, let's see as far well, I mean as far well as themes and tweaks are concerned nope the u just the usual ones universal access nothing interesting as far as the uncategorized things are concerned well again not so much just the regular ones so if you look at it um, the amount of software you have over here they are like plenty and all of them are just tailor made and custom made for begin uh, beginning children to you i mean school children to use with so if you're like an educator who wants to make a interactive class sessions this could be a good starting point and the good thing is this since this is free you can and this runs in a lot of a uh, uh, lot of hardware simple i mean hardware this could be work, this could be a, a good investment and a good cheap uh, cheap investment other than that thanks to the ubuntu i mean uh, thanks to the canonical uh, software repositories canonical software repository you have a lot of software from the ubuntu ubuntu servers and ubuntu repositories uh, that you can use it, use over here and uh, if you want to install any other particular software you can also do it now just more looking more uh, you don't um, you have this terminal option available and this is this is not particularly designed for programmers per se but nevertheless nevertheless you, if you want to be a programmer you can also use it as of now uh, let's see as of now it is using the old kernel old kernel 4.4.0 uh, hyphen 64 it's actually an older kernel uh, um, but still but nevertheless it's nevertheless they get they do update it every now every now and then and um, other than that if you are familiar with the ubuntu desk ubuntu unity desktop version all the other things would be very much similar to that so if you want to use this half uh, use this operating system uh, just like just like that i would recommend you have an experience with ubuntu and then work with it nevertheless it's telling here in working with this operating system is fairly simple and straightforward now um if you are like an educator you can give this a good, you can give this a good try and this looks like a good uh, system to st system to start with now that's all i have for you guys in this video thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time
with some other interesting distribution till then take care